Hello, my dear viewers. Good day. My task today is to teach you how to make a simple birthday greetings to your loved ones, to your friends, or to whom who you want to greet happy birthday. Okay, using of course Microsoft Publisher. Okay, let us open first the software Microsoft Publisher 2010. So this is quite very easy compared to when you are going to make using Photoshop because in Microsoft Publisher there is already a prepared template. Okay, let us click greeting cards and then uh, you can see different style or templates for different occasions since we were making birthday greetings so I will choose among this area here so it depends on the <clears throat> age of your uh, the one whom you want to beat okay let us have this one for example it is just red uh, color and then create so again loading Quite very slow. Okay, here is it. So you have already here the goodness of the Microsoft Publisher because uh, it has already the pages. You have here four pages. This is the the first page where you can uh, write or you can. Uh, place whatever you want and then your mes message can be placed in the second and the third page if you have a uh, uh, long message you can just put it in here and then this is the back part so it's up to you if you will uh, if you will add some uh, text or you want to change the style okay let us start to work first on the first page so we have it here already so you can uh, change for example this one happy birthday if you want to just continue this one you just want to change the style of the of the form just highlight the text and then choose so uh, which uh font style you want to use uh, depends on your personality or if you want to I follow the personality of whom you want to greet. Okay, so happy birthday. And then you can also uh, write here or whatever you want. And then put it down here so that you can focus on this box here. So let us see you want to add text. Just right click and click add text. Then start typing. So it's up to you to choose again uh, what uh, font style are you going to use. Because I want this one. So type. It's, it depends on you what kind of text you want to, to add. So I will use my son's name. Okay, then it's up also to you if you will uh, change the picture. You can just move it here. You can make this one much larger. Just highlight the text and then uh, make it larger. So, I have it there. It depends also on what kind of personality you have or you want to follow the personality of the one who you are going to uh, Give the card okay. So let us just arrange this one properly so it's quite not 
diplomat. At the center, so I just uh, move it to the right. Okay, so if you want to add some more of the photos, you can just <coughs> select or insert some uh, uh, photos. For example, you want to add uh, additional pictures, much better. Okay, so you want to add uh, pictures of your loved ones. Also good. Let's say I want to choose one of the pictures of my son. Okay. Yes, I just click it and then insert. Okay, so since it's so large enough, you can just adjust it the way you want it to be sized. Okay. So you can place it anywhere. And, uh, and, uh, and the indication, uh, indication building card. You can put it there or you can put it in the lower portion. And then you can also add some more uh, photos like balloons, uh, like uh, cake. And you can also add some more text. You can either put it here or with everyone in this area. Provided you know the technique in, in manipulating the the software you can even add background how are you going to add background or you can format the style of the pictures just like that we have it here so you can uh, change the style of the photo okay just like for example that one okay you can have it so it's already Stylish. It's up to where you want to put it. Okay. And what else? Let us see. We want to insert balloon. Balloon. Swipe very slow. I have a very slow computer. See if I have a picture of the link. Balloon or cake. I haven't seen it yet. Okay. That's it. Okay, you can just resize also the balloon. 
I could place it in the upper part or the upper portion of the what you call the better greetings. So you have uh, the balloon here. It's up to you if what style you use. It depends on again your personality because uh, your personality can tell what kind of style for you there yeah, will you make so I just resize the pictures and move it yeah, so my laptop is not so fast but not a thing so that's it so I just have to make it larger for For my son to appreciate. So you can have that one, or you can add some more if it ends on you. Let us see, I already done with the first page. You can proceed to the next. You can write it in there, whatever you want. Get the greetings. So it's up to you. Okay, whatever you want to to say to your to your loved ones, you can just click it there. Okay, so I just have a very simple greetings, my son. So my son can tell me happy birthday. Hope is the best one for you. It's the, uh, hope it's the best. I guess I just have a very simple birthday greeting. So it's up to you what style you want. You can also change the font style, uh, provided you know the process. You can also add some more greetings here if you want to. So that's it. How simple is to make a uh, birthday greetings this part here is the part as the back part okay you can also edit maybe especially for you by okay you can just write the number then if you want to print is this very easy also because uh it's already uh designed for Printing. Okay, so I just click it, file print, and you can see the print preview. Okay, so that's the print preview of the vertical thing she prepare. 
Okay, so this is your first page. This is your your second page, your third page, and your, this is the last part. So if you will try to print it in a short band paper, if you will fold the band paper into four, then you already have a birthday greetings or birthday card for your loved ones. And then you can just click print, and you have already your birthday card. Okay, that, that's all for today. Thank you for viewing and see soon for more of my videos.